guys, how's it going? It's Baggins here. Very good, very good. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? It's Baggins here. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, we're gonna try and jump straight into it as fast as possible, guys. Uh, I've only got a couple of hours of streaming today. Apologies, but uh, I do have some plans. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this lobby. For those of you who don't know, um, Saturday is the day we host some $5 custom games. What are custom games, you say? Well, uh, they currently don't exist on the Xbox, but uh, essentially it's a private lobby that you can make. So you click your pray, pray button, you click your pray button, and then you go to uh, custom here. From here, you create a lobby. Uh, we're on Europe, I believe. Actually, I should have checked before I did that. Yeah, we are on Europe. So, um, and then within here, I can give the code to you guys. So the code is D8N6GM. Um, I'll put that in the chat and I'll put that in the Discord. D8N6GM. D8N6GM. How you guys doing? What's going on? Who we got here? Kaklas, Chasey Bow, Joey All the Seven, Hawold, Young Pick. See Entity up at the top there. I would play, but I don't have the game. <laughs> God damn it, Entity. Just make another copy. Sluggy's here as well. Nice, nice, nice. Walker. Uh... Uh, Gorillafent and Sir Cavodrock, I see at the start, as well as Parky. I'm still forced to play this fucking piece of shit, that shitty controller. Yeah, controller is uh, pretty painful. Where is the code? I just put it in chat, didn't I? Let me uh, let me copy and paste it again, guys. Here we go. That's the code there, boys. <clears throat> you can just uh, copy and paste as well. You don't have to type it in. There is a uh, copy and paste function within the culling, so. <clears throat> hey, Prodigy. How you doing, man? Code? Are you guys even looking at chat? <laughs> I just put it in there five times, so uh, scroll up a bit. All right, we got Denzi, we got Chasey. Uh, I see you're in there. Yeah, so you're in here, Chasey. Uh, we're gonna wait for Sluggy. Ideally, I don't really want to start until we get at least an eight-player lobby. Um, if that is the maximum we're gonna get, then we'll go to prison. Uh, if we get less than eight, we'll still go with it anyway. We'll try and give you guys like uh, I don't know, um, so maybe like four or five minutes to get this game going. I don't want to wait too long though. Uh, oh yeah, let me post this in Discord as well. Uh, so we do have a specific ruling on this one, which I'll get into shortly. But I'll just quickly go and post this. Um, Region is EU, so yeah, you'll have to be on the EU region. If you're on North America, it won't work, so you'll have to change your region manually to um, $5 free-for-all points system in place, gas grenades, uh, not allowed. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, post it up in the Discord, post it up in chat. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. I'll be on in about five minutes. All right, you're gonna have to be quick, man. We don't have uh, a whole load of time, like I say, to stream today, so. Are there any rules, Baggins? Yeah, there is some rules. So no premeditated teaming of any sort. If I suspect that you are teaming with someone, and it doesn't just seem to be in the benefit of the immediate fight, uh, then that will get you uh, disqualified. You won't be able to win any money. The money will go to the second place winner if if that results in you winning, uh, and you'll be disqualified from future games. Gas grenades are explicitly not allowed. Uh, don't craft a gas grenade. Don't have a gas grenade on you. Uh, if drop your bridges or something happens like that, don't pick up the gas grenade. Just, just toss it in some direction if you have to, but no gas grenades, guys. They're... Uh, they're pretty heavily bugged right now. Um, it's very game breaking, so I don't want to see that stuff happening. Uh, there's a pretty extreme glitch in it. I don't really want to go into detail. Uh, I don't want to share it around and you know uh, cover the exploit. But they're just uh, they're really bad right now. So please don't use gas grenades. Um, what's the other systems? There's a point system in place, so it's not just the first person. Yeah, smoke bombs are fine as far as I'm aware. Just not gas grenades. Um, there is a point system in place, so if you come first, but you only have one kill, and the player who came second had six kills off five or four, they still will overtake you in points. So you get 300 points for coming first, and you get 100 points for every kill. Second place is 200 points, third place is 100 points, so you can do the maths from there. 
Um, Slug's trying to finish out a game. Okay, Sluggy. Uh, right, I'm going to start setting up the poll. We also do a... Um, we also do betting on players in this game. So if you guys aren't aware in the stream, we have a point system in place. We call it Beginos. You can use Beginos for a whole bunch of different things. Most of them are just fun, like sort of casual things. But, you know, it's a, it's a little reward for you guys. Also, thank you for the host, by the way, uh, Clutch, if you are watching. I appreciate it. Uh, Detroit Keith is here. Hello, Keith. How you doing, man? Right, so I am going to make a... Who will win this game? And basically, you can bet on players. You can bet a certain nice amount shot, of points. Robin Hood. Robin Hood always up to no good. And uh, if, you, if you bet correctly, you stand to uh, make a lot of points back. However, if you bet incorrectly, you will lose all of your points that you did bet. Uh, so the first person you can bet on is Denze, which you can do with code exclamation mark bet Denze. The second person will be Chasey, and the command for that will be bet Chasey. Then we'll have BDE, the might of Russia himself. Add option. I will give everybody some points just in case you uh, you seem to be running dry. I'll give everyone a few points, a bit of a top up so you can take part. It's mostly just for fun, this bit, but I think it adds like another element, you know, gets you rooting for certain players. Um, King of Slugs, of course, the people's champion, generally uh, gets most of the points bet on him. Despite, you know, he's got an okay track record, but uh, Kaklaus, no, not Kaklaus, sorry, <laughs> Kavasan, BDE, and Denze, um, some of the most winningest players in these customs, so... Bet on Kaklaus. So this will be a bet that will run for two minutes. The minimum bet will be 50. The maximum you can bet is 2,000. I'll give everyone, um, we'll give everyone 200 points, shall we, when we're ready. Procrastinate's in here. So do I vote in chat? Yeah, you'll, it'll be, you'll be prompted when you see, um, when you see the code, like, uh, you'll, you'll, it'll be clear when you, uh, when you need to bet. I'll also let you guys know as well, so. You look hot with that blue hair. Not gay, though. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just waiting for it to fade at this point, Kaklos. Um, all right, we got Kapalisa and we got Sluggy in here. Uh, I'm going to assume this is probably the most people we're going to get. I don't know if Parky's wanting to join us or not. Hmm. We put Kapalisa on the vote as well. In case anybody wants to vote on Norway. Grub is in here, nice. Space is not allowed, fuck. All right. Uh, slug, of course. Command Slug. Greedo is in here. There's no Grub, though. All right, if we get one more player, that'd be fantastical, because that's... Uh, that's the amount that we have to uh, bet on, but if it doesn't happen, no worries. Shit, did I just close that? No, I minimized it. Thank fuck. Rip, I'm so low level. Hey, level doesn't mean anything. Don't worry, Chasey. You can do this. Maybe people will bet on you. All right, we're probably going to start off on the prison, guys, um, just to make sure that the game doesn't go forever. Uh, we will wait. I don't know. Did we just go now? What do you reckon? I won't bet so I don't lose my 200 points. I mean, if you want to do that, you can do that, guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, can you wait for someone? My friend keeps crashing. All right, Denze, sure. Sure, sure, sure. We can wait. Hi, Baggy Wags. I just got an Xbox One S. What, are they out already? Oh, is it Lifty? Is Lifty the one that's joining? Okay. Well, we, may, we won't do the vote just yet, then. We may as well add that person into the vote as well. Hello, Turtle. Hello, Arlo. How do I bet? Uh, it'll become clear once I enable the bet. You guys, uh, it'll, the chat will tell you, the little bot stream elements will tell you how you guys bet. Um, as always, if you guys, this is the first time you're there, taking part in these, the first time you're watching them. I don't compete in these matches. I just spectate. Uh, my spectating is like, it's it's okay. I, I think I'm getting better. I tend to say um a bit too much. It's probably ruined it for you now probably ruined that for you now guys because you're going to be thinking like you're going to be paying attention to how often i'm saying that now so um <laughs> there it is again 
So yeah, I don't I don't compete. I just uh, I hit the suicide button at the start. That enables me to go into spectator mode, and then we just watch over all the other players. This uh, the prize pool for these tournaments, uh, the five dollars. All of it's uh, kindly donated by you guys, uh, mainly Jack the Ripper, but it's everybody else in the chat as well. Uh, we've had a a lot of donations over the past few weeks. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. And uh, my way of giving back to you guys is to do these five dollar tournaments with the donation money prize pool. So it would be a bit. Um, What's the word? I don't know. I, I It would be a bit immoral if I was to take part and win in the donations that I said with for these tournaments. Like, it, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to... I won't be uh, I won't be playing. Hopefully I play well. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's a good chance that one of these matches will make it onto YouTube as well. So, you guys want to be featured in a YouTube video? I don't know. Maybe that's uh, what you're going for. You do the curling giveaway? No, not today, I'm afraid. Uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to get my hands on any codes or copies of the curling to give away. Um, we don't have quite enough budget to be able to buy those every week as well. I was just, uh, those were also just being given to me. Unfortunately, as I say, there was, there's was there been no codes given to me this week. So no giveaway, I'm afraid, guys. I know it's uh, it kind of sucks. In combination with uh, a short stream as well. I can understand uh, the frustration, but uh, bear with me, guys. You know, next week pro hopefully we'll have a we'll have some codes to give away, and tomorrow we'll do a we'll do a longer stream as well as a as a makeup for a short stream today. What happened to the All American Baggins? This must be an imposter. He's uh, he doesn't exist on uh, PC. We can actually queue on Europe. <laughs> My sub should have run out. Yeah, I thought that about a lot of people, Joey, but it hasn't yet. I don't know what's going on. Does it? Did it auto resubscribe or no? You t you said it took off auto renew, didn't you? I haven't had any notifications. I check uh, every morning to see if anybody like subbed overnight. It does occasionally happen, but uh, no. The last person to sub was Balls of Steel, and uh, before that we had Hawold with a resub. Uh, but after that, mm, no other subscriberinos. So I have auto renew off just in case. I'm gonna assume it's probably gonna. Just like go off in this stream, Joey. I guess I don't know. I can take a look at the exact time and date uh, you subscribed if you want. All right. How uh, how much longer till we get this player in here, guys? So we are racing against the clock here. How much time has passed? Fifteen minutes. Well, oh, that was really odd. I've got a I've got two drinks next to me. One over here is a glass of water. The other one over here is a glass of Pepsi. I thought I was drinking the water. Turned out it was Pepsi. Um, <laughs> that uh, that really confused my brain. I gotta go very soon, so not too long. Yeah, all right, we're gonna wait. Um, we're gonna wait. We'll give it We'll give it another minute. We'll give it another minute. Okay, actually, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna enable the betting. If they're not in here by the time the bet goes, then that's unfortunate, but we will have to start the game. So let me go ahead and give everyone some points. Add points, all 200. Fuck, does that, is that gonna work? Is it gonna let me do it? Oh yeah, let me do it. All right, here we go, guys. Creating a contest. So yeah, if you do exclamation mark bet, followed by the person that you wanna bet on, followed by the amount of points you wanna bet. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Alex Nock. That's a bit, let me, I maybe need to move that up, don't I? Uh, we'll move that one up. So yeah, exclamation mark bet. So for instance, I'm gonna do exclamation mark bet slug, and I'm gonna put, f no, I don't, wait, I do have points. I'm gonna put 100 points on slug. Hello, Yanni boy. So once this betting is done, we'll hit that start button, we'll go into the prison match, and uh, we'll see who wins the first $5. As I say, previous track records for this player for these players, um, BDE has four wins, I believe. Denze has three or four as well. Sluggy has two wins. And I don't believe anybody else in this lobby has currently won a game yet. Uh, within the custom games, obviously. Outside of custom games, I'm sure they've won many, many games. But within the custom games... <laughs> Zankar just lurking. So yeah, once you guys place your bets, that timer runs out, we'll hit that start button. If Slug loses, people will be very frustrated at him. Yeah, that's generally how it goes. You can see, once again, Slug with the popular vote has 73% of the vote. Uh, bets also going on Denzi and BDE. 
the more calculated bets going on there. People who want to make their money back. <laughs> How the fuck do you vote? Exclamation mark bet. Space their name. Space the amount of points you want to bet. Uh, they can't be... There's no space... You can't... Kapalisa is all one word. It won't allow me to do spaces, so Kapalisa has to be all one word. Nobody expects the end of Ducks. <laughs> It's true. The actually is it true? Zanko has won one before. Who was like another unusual win? I don't know. I don't think there's been a winner that nobody really expected. So, all right, let's go, guys. We're going into this one. Um, if we have two or more people crash out at the start of the game, uh, we will restart it. We'll keep the bet and everything as it is now. We'll just try and get the game going as quickly as possible again. But like I say, we're playing in Europe. Players are playing for five dollars. Uh, that's each round, not just overall. Um, there is a point system in place. Uh, don't break the rules. Don't use gas grenades. And yeah, let's have a good game, guys. Well, let's do it. I'm going to suicide at the start so I can go into spectator mode. Just got to wait until the box opens. Chasey says he crashed. Anybody else crash? If we get two Omar crashes, you'll have to let me know in the chat. By the way, please try and keep your uh, Twitch chat open. Fuck, I didn't. I forgot to say that. But if you keep your Twitch chat open, uh, I will type in all caps if we're doing a restart. Uh, that's unfortunate, JC. We'll we'll be doing uh, at least four of these, I think. So there will be chances in the future to enter into some other ones. I know it sucks, um, but uh, that's that's the game we're playing. <laughs> Baggins, can I pay like 10,000 Beginos to serve us some shit? Not currently, Arlo. Maybe in the future, but not currently. All right, we're going to press that button. There we go. All right, let's do this. Spectating, we have Say My Name, Grub, Kaklaus, <laughs> feels Xbox man, uh, BDE, King of Slugs, Denze, Kapalisa, and we're back to Say My Name, so... The start of these games is always a case of just tabbing through the players to make sure you don't miss out on the first fight. Generally, though, there's not too much action, especially in a smaller player pool, a game like this. So what's the total amount of players we have in here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So only an eight-player game. It would have been nine, but unfortunately, we did have a crash at the start. The ruling dictates, though, that if we have only one crash, we will continue the game. Two or more crashes in the early game, we will restart the game. So let's see. Any, any interesting things going on in here? Looks like Kapalisa is going to make body armor. No, just making a satchel. Same my name. Opting to recycle for funk. Grub potentially making body armor here as well. Or Caltrops. Could be either. Kaklas has found himself a silent but deadly. So he's going to creep up onto Grub here. Grub is directly above him. The man tracker is giving away Kaklas though. Uh, rare use of the man tracker. Actually coming in handy there. It's a pretty shit thing these days, guys. Let's be honest. But uh, sometimes if the player is right next to you, you can actually tell that they're right next to you. Generally, you can hear them anyway, or see them, but obviously with the uh, the case of Silent but Deadly, Grub wouldn't have been able to hear Kaklas. But uh, the first fight in the match does break out. Let's quickly tab through, make sure nothing else is going on. Alright, here we are back again. Uh, trade's going pretty equally here. Kaklas taking the advantage over Grub here, though. It does have him down to about 10 HP here. Both players with Dig Deep, as we can expect in these games. Dig Deep, one of the best perks in the game for the longest time now. It does take the Dig Deep off Grub, that we confirmed with that little beeping noise that we hear. And Kaklas finishes him off with a punch to the back, so first blood of the game going to Kaklas. Well played to him there. Crafted knives all around. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kaklas uh, just going AFK there as I was reading chat as well. Um, taking a lot of jabs from Say My Name there. There's, a, there's, no, there's no really honor in these games, guys. People are playing for money, so anything goes. As long as it's not breaking the rules, it's allowed. So if somebody's AFK, somebody's tabbed out, then uh, that's on them, unfortunately. So Kaklos does lose a large chunk of health as a result of that. Same item, also with the explosive run. It's going to be hard for Kaklos to get away from this player. Uh, let's see if he's going to go for the toss. Oh, does, but not doesn't fully charge it. Going to let Kaklos get away a bit now. It's going to need a good, uh, a good knife toss to... To stop Kaklas here. Good jukes. Wow, good. Even better throw, though. Uh, Kaklas looking like he's going to go down here. Going to have to block pretty uh, perfectly from now on. Does go down, though. Say my name with the explosive runs and the opening jabs onto Kaklas. Able to take the better of him. Uh, looks like there was a fight between BDE and another player here as well. We didn't miss out on something, did we? Uh, no. BDE taking some damage, though. Potentially from Kapalisa, the next nearest player to him. 
Capalista without Dig Deep, so I'm not sure if he lost that or if he's just not running it. Uh, Dig Deep generally not run by most of these players. Actually, no, Dig Deep generally run by most of these players. However, Capalista uh, opts not to run it. Considers himself uh, above honor when it comes to uh, Dig Deep or, you know, uh, an honorable player. A lot of players uh, have strong feelings about Dig Deep and how overpowered it is. So some players do opt to not run it just because of its disgusting, uh, disgusting power. So Kapalisa now getting into a fight with BDE here. BDE only with a crafted knife and Kapalisa with a tanto knife. So it does have the weapon advantage there. Over BDE, one of the more seasoned players in this game. Uh, previous winner of at least three or four games. So it's going to be hard for Kapalisa to pull a W out here. But let's see what he can do. Uh, Angry Octopus goes up from Kapalisa there. One of the more unusual perks in the game. When you fall below 20 HP, you do drop a smoke bomb onto the ground. So BDE temporarily getting blind blinded by that uh, Angry Octopus. However, it doesn't seem to have saved him so far. Uh, Kapalisa gonna pick up the thrown weapon that he tossed, though. Uh, still doesn't want to engage in melee, though. I think uh, one fully charged fist would still kill Kapalisa here, so uh, BDE opting to let him run away. Gonna go for the med kit and just heal back up. Knows that he doesn't have a weapon. If he keeps chasing this player, uh, could end up in serious trouble. Even though he does net the kill, he leaves himself susceptible to being vultured. So, gonna make the better judgment to not chase the kill here. And uh, it was a good call, as it turns out, because he would have ran into uh, Young Pick and King of Slugs here as well. <laughs> Procrastinate nearly making it out, but does get caught <laughs> by Denze in the doorway there. Uh, looks like it can all come down to uh, the end here. Yeah, like, all players pretty much in this fight right now. Young Pick, moments from death. Uh, Dig Deep does drop. Uh, King of Slugs very well geared here, has a tier 3 weapon, however it does go down, uh, King of Slugs dying to Young Pick, wait, no, killed by Young Pick, Young Pick was then killed by Denze, uh, so yeah, only only these three players left in the game now, the only player that was not in that fight was Say My Name, um, hard to evaluate what exactly happened there, it was just a series of deaths back to back, King of Slugs looked like he was very well geared with the, with the, uh, with the Iron Skin and the tier 3 spear and the body armor, However, a series of vultures means that Denze does ultimately come out on top. Uh, King of Slugs killed by Young Pick, who was then killed by Denze. BDE also killed by Denze. So Denze netting himself three kills there, really cleaning up. Uh, gonna be pretty happy about that one, I'd imagine. Now only has Say My Name to take out. Say My Name still with the crafted knife. Uh, meanwhile, Denze calling in his airdrop with a serious amount of funk on his hands as well. <laughs> a bit of a, what we call a, a clusterfuck there, guys. Hmm. <clears throat> Young Pick says they gotta go. Alright, catch you later, Young Pick. Thanks for joining in, man. You picked yourself up a webcam, Oscar? Are we gonna see some uh some face cam streams? <laughs> some uh some mixed mixed feelings in the chat right now, guys, about uh, what just happened there. Uh, people that are voting for Denza are obviously pretty happy about that one. Sluggy a bit annoyed that Kapalisa didn't give him the kill. Obviously, uh, up to each individual player whether they decide if they're going to get killed by someone or not. Uh, I think it's in most players' best interest just to stay alive as long as possible. You don't opt to die to someone generally, so... Baggins, you American? No, I'm from, uh, I'm from England. I was born, born and bred and lived in England for, uh, pretty much all of my life, so... Just have a bit of a weird accent, I know. Alright, so say my name with the uh, Muscle Man Milk Machete. Alright, boys. That's enough of that. You guys know not to redeem. I've, uh, I've taken off redeems. If you do redeem now, we're gonna. You'll just be wasting your points, unfortunately. But yes, England is indeed my city. Alright, Denze opening up a uh, late game holo spawner to secure himself a fireman's axe. Looks like the airdrop that he had was big game, giving him a compound bow, crafted explosive, and steel caltrops. Now going to continue to play the funk game while he waits for Say My Name to come into the middle. Not sure what Say My Name's plan is going to be here. Seems like he is a bit outgeared by uh, Denze here with a tier 4 axe. Say My Name without a bow as well, without dig deep. Only has a blowgun on him apparently, so got to be pretty tough for Say My Name here. Not sure if Say My Name knows that he's in a custom game or if he thinks this is a... Uh, <laughs> just a standard game hiding behind the boxes to try and maximize the points that you would get on the leaderboards uh, Time not gonna make a difference in these games. In fact, uh, kind of just a bit of an annoyance as it delays the next game from starting So hopefully say my name is gonna leave the confines of this box soon. We'll see All 
All right, gas getting popped by Denze. Both players running in opposite directions, though. Not sure if Denze knew that he was on the other side of that gas. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Denze probably feeling like he could take this player right now, uh, considering his gear level and the other player's lack of lack of dig deep. I'm sure Denze would just like to fight this fight this man right now. But uh, say my name, evading him once more. I'm going to make his way over to the East Mess Hall, potentially. Opting to make some rocks right now. Uh, gonna place down snares by the looks of it. If a player is combining caltrops with rocks, that means snares. Let's see, he's probably gonna go for snares in uh, in some sneaky areas. Let's take a look at these traps and rate them out of 10. Mm, I'm afraid that one's probably gonna be about a 4. Uh, not the greatest trap, but we'll see. Maybe it catches old Denze out. Mm, unusual traps, not opting to go all the way around, uh, just on the corner. I could cover more ground with those, whether he's aware of that or is just making the active decision not to. Hard to say, but... <laughs> the East Mess Hall. Uh, famous resident uh, Oscar once camped out in here. And uh, that did win him a game, so perhaps Say My Name has uh, seen the YouTube video and is uh, trying to play like his hero, Oscar. However, he seems to have gotten the placing incorrect. You need to be standing in front of those windows if you want to... If you want to pull the full Oscar off, as we say. Miracle Whip says I'm going to miss the customs today. Uh, no worries, Miracle Whip. <clears throat> we'll miss you, but... Hope, uh, hope you're having a, a good time with whatever else you may be doing. Baggins is my culling hero. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you guys seen me... Uh, you guys seen my stream the past few days? <laughs> okay, looks like Denze has spotted Say My Name now. Obviously, we're taking those shots on him. Just going to try and uh, keep uh, Say My Name out of his sights now. I'm not entirely sure what Say My Name is planning for here. Is he actually going to engage finally? Looks like he might be going to. I'm going to go and try and go for the sneaky backstab. Backdoor backstab um, onto Denze. However, Denze not opting to go through that door. So uh, both players will lose each other once again. And the cycle continues. Just waiting at the airport? Ooh. Where are you going, Miracle Whip? Is it international? Baggins is all washed up now. Yeah, I just I just spectate games and have uh, my subscribers carry me now. I don't actually play anymore. A uh, little secret, guys. In my YouTube videos, it's not actually even me playing anymore. I just hire I just hire King of Slugs and I get, I get him to send me his gameplay. And then I just commentate over the top of it. All right, well, let's take a drink. Keep my uh, keep my throat nice and liquidated. I don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Moist. <laughs> All right, I think Denze does hear say my name, slapping the ground there. I am really not sure what's going on here. Like, does say my name have a plan, or is he just running? In custom games, you don't get any points on the leaderboard. This is a valid strategy. Uh, when it comes to quick play games, as you get more points for playing longer, but in these customs, not really going to achieve much. Let's hope we get a good fight here at least. Uh, so far, looking like Dente not really taking a whole lot of damage, maybe about 20 HP. And yeah, that went as we thought it would go, to be honest. So uh, Dente taking the first win of the game there. Congratulations, Dente. Uh, I think very obviously the winner there um, has... 300 points for first place, plus 400 points for the kills, puts Denze at 700 points, the next nearest player only with 300 points, so Denze the clear winner there. Congratulations, Denze. Hey, Death's Hal, how you doing, man? Denze is too OP, they have to nerf that perk. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and uh, secure the betting. So Denze was the winner there, congratulations to everybody that bet on him. Let's go ahead and make a new lobby. Create. Perhaps these will just be uh, prison games. We'll have to see how many players we get in here. Whoa, nearly spelling BDE. It's uh, Mr. EBDM. Mr. EBDM is the code. Well, we're going to get an Oscar joining us for this one. Mr. EBDM. Once again, we're on... Uh, we're on uh, what's the word? We're on Europe. That's the word I'm looking for. The region is Europe. If we get a good chunk of North American players in here, we will host the game on North America, to keep it fair. 
<laughs> JC and Slug both representing North America right now. I'm not sure if that was pre-coordinated, but an interesting battle would be Denze versus Kappa King. <laughs> you think? <laughs> the KK Kona NA boys at the bottom. All right, looks like we got a, a few... N actually, no, maybe not that many to you new players. Just an Oscar as an addition now. You guys have all changed your calling cards, so you're spooking me out a bit there. <laughs> your friend Demise Freeze has started watching. <laughs> the sugar daddy. All right, Jack. Um... Let's go ahead and enable some more betting again. I think we can just take that previous. We don't need to make a fresh one. We can just take that uh, that past one and edit some of the players. So Young Pick is no longer playing, but he can be replaced by Lifty. So we'll just enable him as somebody you can bet on. Uh, do we have anybody else to add to this one? Oh, and Oscar, of course. Oscar, of course. So you can now bet on Oscar. Uh, we'll save those changes. We'll take a quick look if anybody has anything to say in chat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> Uh <laughs> How you doing, by the way, prankster? Sorry if you uh, if you said hi earlier. I didn't see. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to assume this is the max lobby. Either way, we're going to go ahead and enable another round of betting. Uh, we have added Oscar and Lifty to the bet this time. Denze, the previous winner. Try hard is Oscar, by the way, just in case you guys are wondering. Uh, yeah, let's go. Once again, guys, place your bets on who you think is going to win. Oh, uh, let me add points to everybody as well. Add points... All 100. Apologies, guys. Uh, Alo says, I'll give you one free sex if you give me some points. You know you want to. I'm okay. I'm, I'm good for sex. Thank you, Alo. <laughs> Demise says, he told me he's finally at his house and now he is watching culling streams. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe he is still doing that, though, Demise. I don't know. Maybe that's... Uh... Maybe that's what Jack's, uh, you know, just a bit of uh, quality time and have a, a culling stream on in the background. Who knows? Who knows? All right, guys. So once this, uh, once again, once the round of betting ends, I will go ahead and start the game. So uh, if you do want to bet on a player, you think they're going to win, it's exclamation mark bet, uh, then a space, then their name then another space, and then the amount of points you want to bet. The minimum bet is 50, the maximum is 2,000. Uh, if you do get the bet correct, you will share the prize pool, which is currently 1,272 points split between whoever bets on that winning player. Uh, however, if you bet and you guess wrong, then you will lose however many points you bet. So just a bit of fun, really. But you can stand to uh, gain some beginners. Yeah, hopefully no crash this time, Chasey. I think everybody in here is from Europe, right? These are all European players, so connection shouldn't be a problem. However, if you are North American, I got it wrong. Oh shit, I forgot to put the code into... Uh... Fuck, I forgot to put the code into the Discord. My bad. Uh, Mr. Mr. EBDM. Code. Mr. EBDM. Same rules etc as above all right i'll give i'll give the uh culling general discord just like a minute to connect as well because I, I forgot to do that prankster says next time you do a friend request if i buy one can i get a youtube sub instead of a friend request um maybe i'll have to think about it yeah i can't see why not if you guys want to if you want me to subscribe to your channel sure we can we can consider that for sure. I mean, generally you don't have to buy that. If you just post your channel in my Discord, I generally sub to other culling YouTubers and follow other culling streamers. Um, I like to just you know, I like everybody who makes content in uh in the culling. I think we gotta look after each other. 
because we're a, we're a small community and the game is uh, in a questionable place a lot of the time. So if you make culling content, just let me know. I'll be happy to watch some of your stuff. Bag and sip to my Twitch. I stream everything and nothing. Holy fuck. It's pretty meta. Chasey says Baggins. What's up, Chasey? Elite Ninja Gaming. <laughs> Demise Freeze loves his beginos. All right. We're going to start real soon, guys. Um, What do you reckon, guys? You want to do Island or Prison? What's everybody feeling like watching slash playing? I'll take a quick look at what chat's saying. And we'll do that one. What happened to my dig deep? That's a question I ask myself every day, Drax. Procrastinate says island. Baskerin says island. Blue boat says baggins. Can I join? Yeah, of course. Uh, we're on the PC. You're going to have to be quick. Uh, I see a lot of island and I see a few prisons as well, though. Sluggy says prison. Hmm. Prison is more intense. Yeah, we have we don't have really have a, much of a full lobby, so it could go pretty slow. We did just do prison. It's true. Um, we'll do one island. If the game takes forever or if it's painful, then we'll just go back to doing prisons. If this is going to be the maximum lobby size, um, you'll join next. Got into an overmatch match when you said I could join. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit that stop button, then, guys. We're gonna go on the island. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Not full lobby, prison. Yeah, I think this will probably be the only island game we do. Just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we feel about it. Most likely, we'll just go back to doing prisons after this. Good luck, everyone. Have fun. No gas grenades, remember. Hopefully, nobody crashes. If you do, reply in the chat. And uh, we'll make the call from there. When's private games on Xbox? Uh, they haven't announced yet, oh, DUI. But uh, as soon as I know, I'd let you guys know. I'm hoping within a month, oh, DUI, but uh, I, haven't, I, I haven't had any information at all to actually tell me that that's true. That's just what I'm hoping for. Of course, when private... Excuse me. When private games do come to... Uh, Xbox. We'll probably give this a go on the Xbox as well. See, uh, see how we feel about it. But right now, this is just uh, this is just limited to PC. We're playing uh, some custom games on the PC. The winner of this game will uh, will receive five dollars for his efforts or her efforts. Um, there is a point system in place. It's not just last man standing. I'm not going to be competing. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kill myself, as uh, people tell me to do in the YouTube comments every now and again. And from there, we're going to go into spectate mode, and let's see who we got in here. We have Kaklaus, Grub, Denze, Say My Name, King of Slugs, BDE, Oscar, Kapalisa, Chasey doing a dance, and Kaklaus is back in. Chasey probably uh, pretty happy that he actually managed to get into a game. Uh, last game, Chasey did crash out, so is this everybody? I believe this is everybody, right? Uh, did we see Lifty? Uh, wait, did Lifty not make it in? Yeah, it's a short stream today, I'm, af I'm afraid, guys. We'll make it up for uh, you tomorrow, though, guys. It looks like Lifty might have crashed out of this one. However, that seems to be the only player that did crash. Uh, if we can get any confirmation about that, that would be great. Oh, Kapalisa in a fight with Denze. Denze, wow, taking him down before we could even watch the rest of that fight. It looked like it was, uh, I don't know who had which weapon there, but uh, a Javelin was involved and a Tanto knife by the looks of it. And yeah, Denze getting first blood of the game, taking down uh, the Norwegian streamer. That is Kapalisa, also known as Procrastinate. Uh, shout out to him. Unfortunately dying to the, the Polish might that is Denze. First kill of the game. How long is the stream for? Only two hours. And we've been going for uh, 50 minutes so far. So we got another hour and 10 minutes. Hmm. What perks does Denze use? I'm not sure. Uh, let's try and take a guess. Let's take a look at Denze. Well, evidently, he has Dig Deep. Uh, not sure if he got that backpack off of Procrastinate. I don't think Procrastinate runs Backpacker. So maybe we'll take a guess that he has Backpacker as well. So Dig Deep, Backpacker. And then it's probably either going to be Trapper. 
Berserker or Brutus. It's hard to say though. Two hours, yeah, I know. Um, I'm sorry guys, but I do have plans later on in the evening. Uh, we'll make it up tomorrow though. We'll do a longer stream tomorrow. So you guys can uh, blast songs all the way through like eight hours of streaming. And I'll just have a tremendous migraine at the end of it. All right, another fight breaking out between Kaklaus and Chasey here. Uh, Cleaver versus Pitchfox. So Kaklaus in a pretty big advantage here. It does have Muscle Man Milk as well. So Chasey going to be feeling the brunt of that Cleaver. Kaklaus taking away his dig deep. And then uh, finishing off with another slice across the chest. Kaklaus not losing his dig deep there either. So uh, all players, apart from Say My Name, now with dig deep in this game. Looks like Slug has spotted himself a Say My Name. Slug looking like he's got those brass knuckles on. Wait, or is it just bare fists? I can't tell, actually. Slug perhaps just with his bare fists. Uh, let's see what he can do. Is the brass knuckles on his hand there? I can't tell. We'll have to take a look when he hit. Oh, no, that is brass knuckles. You can tell uh, that it is because uh, Say My Name is now crippled. Of course, normal fists don't apply a cripple. That's only brass knuckles, so... Uh, Sluggy... Only a couple more punches on to say my name here, and he will take him down, and there we go. Sluggy making uh, relatively light work of say my name there. Although, uh, however, this go down to about half health. Wow, the Blood Moon popping. Uh, this is the first time I've had one of the new events happen in my custom games. Previously, I thought it was bugged, but we just got very unlucky. Yeah, the uh, the new event now popping. Now popping. Now popping. So uh, all players pretty shortly going to be able to see each other on the map. However, uh, no players really seeming like they're very close to each other. Let's see if the Blood Moon does actually mean anything for this game. I suspect it's probably not going to, but... Hmm. <laughs> Demise Free says, what will happen in 1 hour and 40 minutes? You call it for it tonight? It's the weekend. I know, I know it's the weekend, but I have to... I've got plans, so... I'm gonna go... We're going out on the town for once. <laughs> There's like a, a festival in my town that only happens once a year, and it happens to be on a Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna join in tonight. I know, guys. It's uh, it's really unfortunate, but uh, maybe I can come back later on in the night. We can start like a midnight stream, and I'll be all drunk. You guys would like that. <laughs> All right, Sluggy now uh, homing in on Kaklaus. Both players do see each other, that, that red line. Uh, Kaklaus seeing Slug, Slug seeing Kaklaus. Looking like the only two players that are near each other. However, there is one player off in the distance here, BDE. Uh, but yeah, BDE quite far away. So, fight breaking out between Kaklaus and uh, King of Slugs here. Looks like it's a Cleaver versus a Hatchet. So, Kaklaus with the weapon advantage here. Pretty distinct weapon advantage as well. Cleaver... Generally, range is one of the best tier 2 weapons. A lot of players would say the crowbar is the best, but I think the cleaver is a, the cleaver is a, is a serious contender for that slot. Um, Sluggy looking like he's winning the trades right now. Uh, the, the skill of the slug coming out does use the bow to pop the dig deep. However, ooh, looking like slug might have lost his dig deep himself there, but nice block from slug will secure himself the kill. Gonna upgrade his uh, camp hatchet to a cleaver now, and I imagine gonna go make some bandages. The uh, Blood Moon reveals that BDE is just behind him. Sluggy evidently has spotted that. Gonna continue to run. Has his block up, so he'll take 50% less damage from any ranged projectiles coming his way. But uh, BDE without a bow. Uh, generally, BDE not a big f not a big fan of using the bow like uh, Procrastinate. Not, not a big fan of using uh, Dig Deep. He's gonna uh, give up on the pursuit of Slug. Mm, or maybe he's just waiting for his stamina to come back. It's hard to say what's going on here. Oh, gonna go for the, the sneaky the sneaky moves onto Slug. Uh, if Sluggy is watching the stream and hears me talking about this, which I imagine he's probably paused it uh, because my continuous talking probably a bit distracting while you're trying to fight, but uh, <laughs> two players creeping in on Slug here. Uh, Oscar now coming in with his tactical machete, caltraps, and uh, crafted bow. Fight, another fight gonna break out. Slug missing most of his body armor here. Uh, Slug at a bit, a bit of a disadvantage. Tactical machete, probably a better weapon than a cleaver. Uh, any weapon that has a bleed is certainly a very good weapon. And uh, Tactical Machete certainly has a bleed on it. Not as good as its uh, brother, the Bowie Knife, but... Uh, Slug not taking, uh, not wanting to take the chances with this fight is just going to run away again. Uh, let's hope he doesn't come across BDE, who is creeping just above the roof. Uh, Three-way fight. Whoever wins this one is going to be subject to BDE, then swooping in. Cue the Vulture noise. Potentially, yeah, Drax. 
Just toast cap Alicia Hill stat streaming after this. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys from the uh, the chat are gonna stream, I'll be happy to hand over the host to you guys. All right, so, uh, wow, it's looking getting pretty bullied by Asuka here. It looks like he's gonna go down, yeah. Just continuous uh, shoves from Asuka there. Asuka knowing that he has the health advantage, not afraid to just keep shoving and swinging at Slug there. And uh, BDE now, as we, as we foreshadowed, as we foretold it, uh, BDE now approaching onto Asuka. Asuka less than half HP here, so not a favorable fight for Asuka. Uh, BDE in a good place to win this one. Does have a pretty solid weapon as well in that Survival X. Survival X a very hard hitting weapon. The Expose enabling each second swing to do massive damage. However, Asuka proving his worth here. Looking like he could take down BDE. One swing will take down BDE. All one shot from the bow as well. And yeah, Asuka taking down both the King of Slugs and BDE on less than 50% HP. Asuka really showing up. Perhaps uh, another winner. We'll still have to fight Denzi and Grub, but very well played from Asuka there. Good, uh, good knowledge of the game. Uh, good understanding that I had a greater HP, a greater health pool than Slug, and uh, just yeah, good mechanics when it comes to fighting against uh, BDE there. <laughs> Congratulations, Noob. Did you send him a message and say, "How are you, top ten, Kent?" <laughs> All right, so uh, Denze has found himself a trident from a late game holo spawner, looking like he's gonna go for his airdrop here. Does see Oscar with two kills. Denze probably a little bit taken aback by that. Uh, although Oscar has previously won one of these games, uh, some might argue that it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. It wasn't like a, a well fought victory, but yeah, Oscar really turning up in this game, showing that he has uh, he has been practicing hard indeed. People shouldn't vote on me, says King of Slugs. They're still going to this slug. You know, you know what it's like. Alright, so Denze, I assume he's going with the big game here, which is a compound bow. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Uh, probably one of the best airdrops in the game right now, and has been for quite a while. Bows being so powerful on PC because of the precision the mouse and keyboard gives you. Uh, you can very quickly win a fight with just one compound bow alo alone. Well, combined with Caltrops. Um... It's a pretty strong meta. Denze now just flexing his thighs before he gets himself into the next fight. Needs to do a little bit of a stretch before he continues running. Uh, Oscar making something in the water. Looks like it's a bandage. Perhaps going to make a little uh, cache of uh, bandages somewhere in the corner here. A move that we see some PC players doing. Uh, they create themselves like a little cubby hole filled with goodies, uh, bandages, sticks. And other stuff like that. No, making the bandage so when he opens up the three crit money in the event that an explosion happens like that, can quickly bandage the wound and go back up to full health. Uh, also, bandage the bandages remove all wounds on you, so is no longer crippled and no longer bleeding. That explosion does make him reve does reveal himself to Denze though. Both players now popping explosive friends. A uh, good headshot coming in from Denze there with the uh, with the compound bow, putting Oscar down to uh, almost 50 HP. The crafted explosive does put him down to 50 HP. Continues to receive a volley of arrows from Denze there. The compound bow showing why it's such a powerful weapon. Uh, one more swing and Oscar does go down. Uh, Denze taking quite a bit of a beating from Oscar as well there, but uh, the explosive runs. Plus the cripple from the uh, the cripple does overwrite explosive runs. So even though Oscar had his own explosive runs, the cripple coming in from the crafted explosive does mean that Denze was able to secure that kill. So pretty much his airdrop alone there, the uh, crafted explosive and the compound bow didn't really need anything else. Just that airdrop right there, showing you why it's so powerful. Um, compound bow, such a such a disgusting weapon at, at times. Combined with that crafted explosive, that airdrop uh, easily one of the best in the game. Uh, unfortunately, Oscar, not really much he was able to do about that. So, uh, looking like he's going to come down to between uh, Grub and Denze here. Grub has f Grub looking like he's running Defender, which is a unusual airdrop. Mid-game airdrop gives you uh, Tactical Body Armor, which is the highest tier body armor in the game, and a Pike. Over compared to Denze's gear, he is uh, he is pretty undergeared right now. So, Grub going to have to pull out some uh, some pretty strong plays here if he wants to win this one. Denze looking like he's gonna take home all the monies. We need uh, we need some contenders to step up. Oscar forgot how to block. I mean, <laughs> most he before he even got into the melee fight, he was uh, he was like down to 10 HP. So, 
Bows are literally OP. Yeah, bows are in a very strong, very strong place. The damage plus the uh, the spam that you can do with them is is pretty insane. I don't know. I, I guess they either need to lower the damage number or make it so there's some sort of movement penalty with each consecutive shot you take. So maybe you take the first shot and you're 5% slower. The second shot, you're 10% slower. And it resets after you don't fire after a certain period of time. Or just a flat damage, a flat damage reduction. Don't really know what else we could do. Maybe make it so that the bow has the man tracker curse, where uh, old man tracker used to not be able to move while you were using it. I don't know. Would that make bows too terrible if you uh, if you couldn't move while pulling back the bowstring? Make more caltrops easy counter. Yeah, but when you're against the crafted explosive, the crafted explosive does blow up the caltrops. So. All right, we're just waiting for Grub to move into the center here so Denze can find him. Denze just memeing out a bit now, uh, just emptying this crafted bow of arrows. So I imagine he's going to toss it after this, trying to go for uh, 360 no-scopes onto the bridge, but is missing all the shots. Yeah, like the, the bow cat... Uh, benefits more from caltrops than you do if you're trying to take down the bokeh because you want the other player to be moving as slow as possible whereas he doesn't care if he's moving that slowly because he's already doing damage to you from range so it's hard to say what they what they should do with compound bows i don't know <laughs> that should be a rule where Denze has to play while blindfolded. Yeah, we need to nerf Denze. If we wanted to, what we could do is make a, a tournament where uh, the big game airdrop just isn't allowed. But I don't know, that might... Uh, I don't know what to say about that one. What do you guys think? Because for some players, it's their playstyle. I, I think Denze is very excellent when it comes to melee combat as well, but... He knows that uh, it's, it's a good guaranteed win for him if he does run the compound bow, so. Well, think about it. Maybe I'll consult the community and the, the players. And uh, we, could, we could make for a, uh, a no big game airdrop next week, possibly. I mean, yeah, it's a playstyle. It's also a playstyle that uh, probably gives me the best results on PC as well. I won't lie, I feel like I'm generally pretty good with the compound bow. Probably better than I am at the melee combat. Uh, I'm aware that it is anti-fun though. So for the most part, I try not to run it. Or I'll use it for one game and then after that I'll switch back to uh, something that is a bit more fun to play against and play with. But. But yeah, certainly the person with the better aim will generally come out on top when it's a bow v bow fight. Slug says I shouldn't ban a certain airdrop. You can counter other playstyles in this game, so people are getting triggered and salty about a certain playstyle. Yeah. It's, uh, it's obviously a delicate subject because it does annoy a lot of the players. Alright, looking like the fight is now finally breaking out between Grub and Denze. Caltrops on the ground. Uh, Grub with his own Caltrops as well. However, taking a lot of beating from that compound bow. Uh, nearly losing all of his health before he can get into melee range with Denze here. And Denze looking like he's going to win this fight flawlessly. Impact grenade to the ground to secure himself the win. And there you go. Denze wins himself his second game. Wait, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, okay, yeah. Where is Kavasan when you need him? <laughs> BDE and Slicks have the potential to, uh, and Oscar as well. 
<sighs> All right. What's the time? Yeah, we got time for a couple more at least. Okie dokie. Probably going back to prison now, guys. The code is DX736. I think that's an S. DX736S. DX7. 36s Yo Nebula, how you doing? Did you add the points? Yeah, Denze was the clear winner. He had 300 plus 300, which is 600. The next nearest player had 200. Um actually second and third were tied on 200, so Denze with a 400 point lead on that one. I tried to copy the code, but I clicked search up on Google. <laughs> hmm. Hydro Acid says, why is this game dead? So dead. Uh, it's not a straightforward answer, but a lot of it comes down to poor decisions from the development team, uh, removing features from the game that the player base loved, and uh, continuing to just do that back to back. I need to restart my Steam. Wait, please. All right, Denzi. No worries. Uh, do we have any new players in here? We got MSK in here now as well. And Demise Reese. Oh, shit, boys. They're turning up. Lifty's here in here again as well. Hopefully, we can get Lifty to actually be in this game. Um, no new content, bugs, and more. Yeah, it's it's been well documented on Reddit and stuff why the game died. Or why it is dying, but dying. Um, <laughs> don't put me on the bet list. It would be so useless. So we can only put 10 people on there. So, uh, we'll obviously have to put MSK on there. Let me start updating it. Take me off for MSK. I can't do that. Slick. you know, I can't do that. All right. So Denze, once again, the winner of that one, uh, let's go back. So let's see, we will have a Denze, we'll have a Say My Name, Chasey. Hmm. So we need to take some players out and put some players in. All right, I'm gonna do this at my own discretion, so hopefully I don't offend anyone, but. How many players do we have in this lobby? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve with Denze, so. Two people will have to not be on the available bets, which can be Demis Fries and Chasey, if they don't mind. Hmm. We do still have Oscar. Capelisa still in here. Demisa Macrisa. I don't know though. Maybe chat wants to bet on Demise Freeze, even though he doesn't want people to bet him on, bet on him. Grub says take me out. Chasey says take me out. Me and Grub. All right, I'll uh, I'll replace Grub with Demise Freeze then. Demise Freeze. All right, that's that all then. <laughs> Demise Frey says, no, take me out. <laughs> BDE says, don't put me on the bat list. No, nah, I got to do it, guys. Because you might win. Hmm. Zankar says, I believe it's time for you to step up your game. You know you got it in you. I, as your coach, I, as your coach, have seen your qualities. Oh, shit. Slug's getting the pep talk. <laughs> Big Wellsy says, are they ever going to add new maps? Probably, but uh, it's hard to say when that could be, Wellsy. I would like, wouldn't expect it until the end of the year. I rewatched your stream yesterday and your voice cracked five times. Yeah, I haven't had puberty uh, come to me yet, so. <clears throat> My challenge is to not be the first kill. Maybe we should take bets on that.
<laughs> Why am I kicking players out? I'm not kicking players out. I'm just making... There's only a maximum of 10 people you can bet on. So everybody's welcome to play in the game. But when it comes to the bets, which are frankly a little bit of a side bit, um, you you won't be able to bet on two players in this lobby because we can only bet on 10 people maximum. I can't launch the culling. What is happening, Denzi? You would like restart your Steam or uh, your PC? I mean, we can go on one without you if you want. I'm pretty sure all the players in the lobby would be happy with that. But <laughs> who's BDE? He's a he's an old veteran from Russia. He's won a few of these games before. He has some skill. He's just uh, opting to not show it today. <laughs> no, he's been playing well. It's just uh, the wrong place at the wrong time. I wrecked Denze's PC due to bokeh from the inside. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm reinstalling this shit. Go ahead with one game. All right, we're going to play one game without Denze then. Uh, all right, this is going to be an interesting one then. We'll do it on prison, guys. We'll, we'll keep alternating the maps. So we will take out Denze and we'll put in... Uh, uh, let's put Grub back in his place then. There we go, guys. Exciting game. All right, let's place the bets. Uh, I'll give every a little bit, bit. I'll give everybody some points. Add points all 200. And then uh, you guys can bet on who you think is going to win this game. All right. So uh, without Denze in this game, it could be Slug. It could be MSK. It could be Oscar. It could be BDE. This is uh, this is anyone's game now. How can you mention the word highlights if you don't even have... If you don't even... What? If you don't even to a highlights for you, are you drunk, Drax? What's going on? All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go bet on Demise Freeze here. Uh, bet. Uh, let's put uh, let's put two hundred on Demise. <laughs> Just to be an asshole. Look at your tweets. Wait, did I did I tweet something out? When was this? How long ago was this? Oh, the Pokemon Go thing? You should have you think I should have put the video in there? I mean the the people that I tagged they knew what what I was talking about. So if you guys haven't heard, um there was a thing called Pokemon Go Fest that was hosted by Niantic Labs last week. And there's a cringe compilation on YouTube of like some of the the cringiest moments that happened in there. And my God, like some of the people that were attending that event, like I feel sorry for them because they, they paid a lot of money to go to this uh, convention and there wasn't any, uh... yo, wait, it's working. What the fuck, Denze? Everybody's already placed their bets. Oh my God. You got to get in here quick, man. We're about to end it. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, there was there was a convention hosted for Pokemon Go players. They were going to release some like rare Pokemon. There was going to be some special events. If Denze wins, just refund. Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to wait another 30 seconds. And then we're going to hit start. So I'll put the code in chat just in case you need it. All right, he's in here. Let's go. Well, we'll just have to refund this one if Denze wins. Hello, Genji. How you doing there? Okay. Uh, be a rough side. Yeah, either's fine. I'll see you soon. Love you too. All right. Let's go, chat. Way to go, genius! You actually killed yourself. At least that's what the official report is. No, I. There's no rules in this game. Like, play how you want to play. Uh, the only rules are not to exploit and not to team. So. All right, let's uh let's 
Who we got here? We got Demise Fries, of course. BDE, Lifty, Say My Name, MSK, Grub, Kapalisa, Denze, already in a fight with Sluggy. Ooh, early fight between the uh, the two veterans of this game. It looks like it's a Tanto Knife, uh, Tanto Knife versus a Crafted Knife, though. However, Sluggy doing very well with a Crafted Knife, still winning the trades. Uh, Denze popping explosive runs to try and get away, but does come back in with a stab from the Tanto Knife. Gonna lose his Dig Deep here, potentially. Two, no, gonna go for the, uh, the medical station to heal up. Wow. <laughs> the, uh, the Dig Deep popped just so the plan there from Denze. Uh, let's try and explain that play, explain that play really quickly. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, uh, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got too long to talk, some stuff's going down. We don't have time to talk about it. Uh, what's happening here? Did Oscar go down? MSK looks like he killed Oscar, but very low in HP as a result of that. Uh, Lifty spots are very low on MSK. Gonna try and kill him. Uh, no, Oscar killed by Lifty. So it looks like Lifty... So MSK was probably in a fight with Oscar, uh, but Lifty vultured the kill. So MSK not getting any healing as a result, but uh, paying the price of his own health for that fight. Uh, gonna have to try and fight Lifty with uh, very low HP here. Uh, literal 1 HP, uh, any slight misplay, yeah, MSK going down there, that's pretty unfortunate. Alright, now uh, Kaklas also in a fight with BDE, man, you guys haven't given me a chance to, like, do anything the first two minutes of the game and it's all go. Alright, BDE versus Kaklas, BDE with a, uh, getting hit with an alarm gun, uh, gonna toss a bunch of sticks and any old shit he can find at Kaklas here. Kaklas with a, uh, Tonfa and a Camp Hatchet, uh, BDE just with a crafted knife. But as we said in the past, don't be deceived by the crafted knife. It's a very powerful weapon. Um, you can do a lot of work with this. It's it's as good as most tier one weapons, uh, bar maybe the machete or the tanto knife. So just because of that bleed. Uh, Chasey was killed by Lifty, so Lifty securing himself a second kill in this game now. Uh, this game going like I don't know, so much action, so quickly. This is why Prison is uh, I don't know, Prison favored by some players, but man, it doesn't. Uh, for me as a spectator, it doesn't allow me any time to uh, <laughs> to just take a break and explain what's going on. So BDE does get the kill onto Kaklas there, so uh, Lifty with three kills in this game. Uh, cleaning up on Oscar, MSK, and finding Chasey as well, so... Uh, Kapalisa, Demise Free, Scrub, and Say My Name all in this game. Uh, King of Slugs and BDE with one kill each, and Lifty with three, so... Nice work there, man. Hey, back and sorry, I can't tune in today. Have a family friends thing? No worries, Walker. It's going to be a pretty short stream anyway, so. Yeah, so what happened there? Denze was in a fight with Slug, um, and he planned to use the barrel to his advantage. Uh, because dig deep, if you're on 1 HP and you explode the barrel, I don't know how much the barrel explosion does. Let's say maybe about 30 damage. Um, Denze would have only taken 1 damage because he has his dig deep. So it would have done like maybe 20 damage to Slug and popped his dig deep and it would have only done 1 damage to Denze and popped his dig deep. However, the bleed from Sluggy's knife popped Denze's dig deep the second before he hit the barrel. So it took, it did take Sluggy's dig deep um, and put him back to 10 HP. But because Denze's dig deep popped at the exact same time he hit the barrel, Denze died and Slug didn't. So there you go. That's the value of dig deep right there. And uh, that's why knives are very good as well because they can pop dig deep while you're not even fighting. Uh, so Kapalisa now finds himself Slug in the same spot, uh, but Slug just uh, showing that he's not to be messed around. He uh, he received those words of wisdom from Zanka, and Slug going off in this game now has killed uh, Kapalisa and has also killed Denze, so Slug uh, taking the spoils now. Also has a grab my package right next to him. I'm gonna assume that's where he got the cleaver from. Uh, I forget which airdrop it is. I think it's Chef that gives you a cleaver, muscle man milk, and a bandage, maybe? Something like that. So, uh, yeah, Slug, Lifty, and BDE all with kills. Say my name, Demise, and Grub without any. Lifty looking like he's going to be coming towards Slug's killing spot here. Uh, fancies himself uh, a little garden Slug. Let's see what he can do, though. Only got a Tanto knife. Does have body armor. Slug without body armor. Uh, probably spots the Lifty coming towards him now. I'm going to try and get that body armor off in time. Lifty needs to throw the knife. Does get the nice, good knife throw in there. We'll put the bleed onto Slug. Slug still with the cleaver and the muscle man milk. Getting some good swings on into Lifty. Lifty with iron skin, though. Uh, going to reduce the damage coming in quite a bit. Uh, pretty much negating the exposed wound of the cleaver. Uh, Sluggy going down to about half. Lifty going down to about 10 HP. One more swing onto Lifty. We'll kill him here. And uh, Slug takes another kill. Uh, going off with his taunt. Slug probably feeling pretty good about this game right now. Does still have to face BDE, Demise, say my name and grub, but uh, Slug really going hard in this game. 
Yeah, MSK pretty upset about getting vultured there. <clears throat> Oscar probably pretty upset as well. Looked like it was a very close fight. So, uh, Demise Freeze now in the culmination with a uh, crafted knife, with a crafted bow, I uh, stand corrected, and a Tanto knife. Uh, BDE has found himself a baseball bat. I'm not sure if that was from an airdrop. Uh, I'm going to assume it was the mid-game hollow spawner. Has the chance to give you a tier 3 weapon. BDE rolling pretty high there. Uh, getting himself a baseball bat. But perhaps it was from uh, an airdrop or something. We're not quite sure. Same man named. Applying body armor by the gas. Does have himself a saber. Grub with a tanto knife. No body armor on Grub. Crafted bow. And uh, slug with cleaver. Crafted bow and uh, body armor. So slug probably the best geared right now. Actually, no, BD, pretty well geared, but doesn't have body armor or a bow, so. The baseball bat, a very powerful weapon if you get into uh, melee range, though. Where is I didn't reload? <laughs> I don't know, he donated and then didn't come back into the chat after that, Drex. Okay. Just waiting for these final players to fight now, then. A lot of action at the start of the game, and uh, probably going to be a lull for about five minutes now. While all players gear up for these final fights. Slug still needs to call in his airdrop. I believe uh, all players do, perhaps apart from BDE. Uh, that baseball bat might already be from an airdrop. Maybe going for a mid-tier 3 bludgeon. But it could also be from a mid-game hollow spawner as well. Oh, uh, it's King of Slugs finding himself another another victim here, potentially. Uh, engages onto Grub. Crafted bow arrows, trading both ways. Uh, knife versus Cleaver, so Slug going to be taking more damage the longer he stays out of the fight. However, that Cleaver does hit really, really hard. Uh, one more kill, one more hit will take off uh, Grub's dig deep. Nice blocks from uh, Grub, though. Uh, doing quite a respectable amount of damage to you, Slug, there. Uh, getting him down to about 50 HP. Slug gonna go for a taunt. We'll take a little bit of gas damage as a result. Uh, but Slug thinks it's worth it. Does have a medkit, so probably not too upset about that. Uh, gonna go for another taunt while he medkits. Uh, I, I forgot that that was a thing you guys told me that you can do. You can taunt whilst uh, medkitting. It yeah, will play the animation, but you'll continue to use the medkit, so. Slug turned up really hard in this game. Now with his fourth kill. Uh, I think if he nets one more kill, he'll just win by default, so. Uh, let's say if BDE kills these these next two people, BDE will be on th three kills, which is 300 points, plus first place, give him 600. So if Slug comes second, he would also be in 600. Uh, in the event of uh, a points tie, uh, we will come down to who did the most damage. I've decided that's, uh, that's how we're going to play it by uh, how the ruling's going to go now. A uh, crafted explosive coming in from same man aim onto BDE here. BDE here. Same man aim also with a compound bow. Uh, sees the workings of Denze in the previous game. Gonna try and mimic that. Let's see if he can land some shots. One shot, two shots, third shot misses. Uh, BDE just trying to engage into combat here. Mm, gonna forfeit his airdrop potentially. Looking to apply the bandage. <laughs> nice jump, does juke the arrow. Just uh, flying all around him here. Uh, the compound bow also, of course, only being really effective if you do have a very good aim. Uh, still getting a nice shot in with the crafted bow there, but potentially, no, okay, just using the arrows from the crafted bow. Uh, then gonna go back, oh, I see, so he has his big game right here. So, uh, still has caltrops left. Not sure if this player has a weapon on him, might just have two bows. The, uh, the ultimate and bokeying when you don't even go for a melee weapon. Just two bows and some caltrops. <laughs> Uh, BDE now uh, just uh, deciding to not engage in that fight. D uh, takes his katana from his airdrop. Gonna gonna run off and heal from that one. If he can't get into melee range, uh, doesn't have a bow, there's not really much going for him there, so. Um... Okay. What's um what's Slug doing here? I really hope he didn't crash out. Zanko says, been awake for nearly 24 hours, heading to bed soon, but wanted to see Slug for a few games. Well, he's, uh, he's doing something right now. Not sure what it is. I hope he didn't crash. Hello. Hello. Blood Nana says hello. Hello, Blood Nana. How are you doing today, man? 
Not everybody is worthy to use bows. Yeah, I mean, it is a playstyle, and you do have to be good at it. All right, Slug returns back to life. Maybe he had to go uh, have a Wii or something. We don't know. But, uh, yeah, Demise Freeze now uh, approaching Slug, but opts to run the other way. Uh, oh, BD again caught in some snares. I'm going to assume these are say my name snares. Also in the gas. Uh, might go down here. Needs going to get to the edge of it, but five. Wow, yeah. Wow, I can't believe we missed that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Going for the uh, the Jack the Ripper strategy there. Snares into uh, poison gas. Just take down BDE. Um, so yeah, BDE dying in the gas. Uh, good uh, good trap placement from Say My Name potentially there. We didn't didn't see the full extent of it, but yeah. <laughs> Say My Name just opting to not go for any <laughs> any ranged combat. Pretty content to just use the uh, snares plus compound bows and win. <laughs> good, it was a good trap. Okay, BD confirms it's a good trap. So <laughs> the Jack the Ripper strat. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Alfie Wallace. Walters, how you doing, man? Oh, Slug now in a fight with Demise Freeze. Demise Freeze with the katana. Sluggy still with that cleaver. Uh, gonna pull out. Oh, okay. So Slug looks like he has big game of his own. Uh, gonna toss the crafted explosive onto Demise Freeze. Demise Freeze dropping the. Uh, explosive runs and a bandage, so gonna put him back to pretty much full HP here. Slug, meanwhile, down to half without his dig deep as well. Slug's gonna have to play this one pretty flawlessly to uh, take the advantage onto Dumis. Dumis not feeling it though, gonna gonna run off. Maybe he'll re-engage, uh, but right now, just looking like he's going for the disengage. Gonna get his stamina back. Explosive runs still running. Uh, Slug obviously gonna take the time to make a bandage now, try and get healed up before Dumis comes back in with that katana. Uh, pretty pretty big gear advantage in terms of melee weapon there. Katana, probably one of the best weapons in the game, whereas a cleaver, while it is good, uh, certainly not going to hit as hard and as fast as a as a uh, katana. Demise Watt with the disarm onto Slug there. Uh, and then there's disarm going back again, and then the disarm coming back again. Both players just tossing the bow around like a hot potato right now. Uh, looks like Demise does, uh, does end up with the bow in the end. Slug just trying to pop a bandage before he re-engages. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for Slug, though. Can only take two more shots from that bow. Or, like, one more swing from the katana, so... Uh, Slug trying to go for the bandage again. Doesn't get it off. Only have one more shot. Two Slug will take him down. Uh, Demis sees that he's pretty low. And just finish him off with the katana, so... Well played to Demis there. Maybe my bet wasn't incorrect. Demis now chopping up the cops of King Slug. Oh, no. He's just trying to make a rock. Okay, I thought he was going for BM, but uh, actually just wants a rock so he can refresh his body armor. Yeah, the, the, the power of the katana proving its worth there. Maybe slight misplays from Slug letting himself get disarmed with that compound bow. And yeah, Slug throws away what could have been a pretty good win. Although, let's take a look at the leaderboard. So Slug does end up in third place. That gives him 500 points. Um, so does Slug win by default? So we say Demise kills Say My Name. He will have 200 points. Plus 300 for the win, so Demise will also be on 500, and Slug also on 500. So it's going to come down to who has more damage. Yeah. So if Slug has more damage than Demise Freeze, then he will still win, I believe. That's the ruling that we made it now. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe one of these players have done more damage than Slug. We'll have to see at the end. I mean, I guess the if the players are listening to this, they just could start shooting each other and then healing up. I don't know. I, that was a, a ruling that we made a little while ago to keep it still as if, like, the best player was still the one that, you know, the player with the most action in the game was the one that won the game. <clears throat> Obviously, it's uh, Demise Freeze being the underdog. We do, we do maybe want him to win, uh, just just for getting that kill there. But we do also want to reward skilled and exciting gameplay to watch. So um, in the event of a points tie, it, it will come down to whichever player does the most damage. So I have 500 damage. Demise has 148. Well, let's not ruin it yet, just yet. Even though it seems like the winner has been decided, maybe a lot of trades will happen, uh, followed by a lot of bandaging. Although at this point it becomes a bit of a, a weird ruling because if these players become aware of that then they can just pad their damage to win. But 
I think everybody's here just for a good game, so. Yeah, the Denze last week had about 900, I think it was 914. If I'm being a mega nerd and remembering exactly. Yeah, I mean, we want these games to be exciting to watch. We want to watch, like, kills and lots of damage and aggressive plays and, and fun stuff like that, so... We want to reward kills by giving them points, and in the event of a tie, we also want to reward a player that did a lot of damage. So... <laughs> Not in Zav's eyes, yeah. We have, like, the opposite ruling to Zav. <laughs> if we were Zaviant right now, I'd be awarding whichever player wins who whoever spent more time alive in this game, so... <laughs> All right, here we go. Katana's both ways. Both players trading here. Demise getting a, getting a good spanking, though, from Say My Name. However, Demise does have that Dig Deep. Nice disarm again. Demise with uh, multiple disarms in this game. Oh, does miss the jump through the window, though. Gonna go for another disarm. One more swing will kill either of these players. Smoke Bomb comes out. Demise now not, not able to see. Gonna have to juke in the dark against uh, Say My Name here. Uh, and Say My Name defeating Demise Freeze at the end there. Uh, that was a good fight, though. That was a good fight. <laughs> GG's, guys. Fuck, my block didn't work. Yeah, I thought you were taking a lot of damage at the start there. Alright, guys, so... Here's the ruling. So we have... For coming third, Slug gets 100 points. And for each kill, he gets 100 points. So Slug gets 500 points. Demise Freeze, for coming second, gets 200 points and 100 for his kill. So Demise on 300. And Say My Name gets 300 kill, 300 points uh, for coming first, plus 200. So Say My Name also on 500 points. So it's a tie uh, between Slug and Say My Name. Uh, Demise Freeze coming in second. However, in the event of a tie, previously what we did is we went off who was ranked number one, but uh, we decided that wasn't that much fun, um, and we want to reward like exciting gameplay, gameplay that has a lot of action, so we're going to take the player with the most damage out of these two, which appears to be Slug, with uh, 150 more damage than Say My Name, so King of Slugs will win that game. I'm open to uh, chat suggestions about whether you like that ruling or not. These are games that we can uh, always modify the rule set in the future. But for this uh, this current season, this week's um, games, we're going to go with the ruling that in the event of a draw, the player with the most damage will win. So if you guys don't enjoy that system, let me know in the chat or message me later on in Discord or something. But for now, that's how we're going to play it. So Okay, so Sluggy does win that game. All right, we got the time for about one more game, guys. So uh, Slug is the winner there. Congratulations to everybody who bet on the King of Slugs. Let me go ahead and pick him as the winner. All right, let's get one more lobby going. Hopefully we still get a good turnout from the players. Probably gonna keep it on Europe as uh, I don't think we have any North American players in the lobby in the past like three games, so. The code is 9GA6D7. 9GA6D7. Let me go ahead and put that in the Culling General Discord as well. <clears throat> Where are you going? I'm going out. I'm going to actually leave my house, Oscar. George Nick says, sorry, I'm really late, but I'm here now. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, George Nick. It's good to see you back in the chat. How are we doing, guys? How's everybody doing? Thank you for the host, by the way, George Nick. What is Discord? Um, it's kind of like Skype, but a lot better. 
Pagan's gonna get laid tonight. <laughs> no, I'm just going out. Uh, me and Gamji gonna go out into town. So we don't really do that very often. Well, I don't anyway. Gamji's uh, like more social than I am. <laughs> Discord is an evil character from My Little Pony. The fight with Denzi at the beginning. Yeah, that was really exciting. I wanted to talk more about that, but then everybody else started fighting at the same time. Is Paki your cousin? He is, yes. All right. Um, is this the full lobby? Is uh, is Kapalisa not joining in on this one? Procrastinate. Are you done for the time being? Let me go ahead and update the voting once more. Oh, God. Hey, Lou Hammer. I've taken off the redeem noises, by the way, guys, for these, because uh, it's a bit distracting when I'm trying to talk about what's going on and all the noises and the whistles and the bells are going off. So uh, so we need to take off Kapalisa and replace him with Denze. I'm in a match, one guy alive, don't have to wait on me. Okay. Blood Nana says, where's my Cena? I don't I don't have the redeem noises on during these uh, custom games, guys. We haven't had them on for the past two weeks when it comes to these streams. <clears throat> hey, Lou Hammer. I'll give you back your points, though, just in case you forgot that that was uh, what happens. Add points, Blood and honor but yeah don't redeem anything while we're doing these guys because uh, the noise won't play it's too distracting while i'm trying to uh, talk about what's going on my brain can't handle it so wait what did i type it wrong oh there's another thing at the end did somebody leave did i miss uh, did somebody leave the lobby there I didn't notice. Uh, we still have Denze, we still have Oscar, we still have King of Slugs, MSK still in here, BDE, Kaklas, Demise Reese. Grub left? Uh, have you got a go, Grub? Or did you just like crash out? Procrastinate says I can join. All right, Procrastinate. Um, yeah, Greedo, are you still in here, man? I think he crashed. All right, well, we'll wait for Procrastinate and uh, potentially Grub to come back. Hey, Jay, how you doing, man? All right, there's Kapalisa. Uh, do we want to do another prison? I mean, that one was a bit of a fuck fest. It felt like that would have been a better island match. It would have been a bit slower paced for us, but... Um, let's go ahead and edit this again, then. Oh, Grub is back. Okay. Good, 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 good. Say my name still in here? He is, yeah. All right, there we go. All right, once again, I'll give everybody some points. Uh, what am I seeing here? Prison, 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 one island, two island, three prisons, four prisons, type one for island and two for prison. Uh, all right, I'll do, I'll do a really quick straw poll. Really quick. Prison. Island. All right. Vote what you want to see, guys. Let me know. And I take like the whatever wins in 30 seconds. We'll, we'll choose that one. So let me know what you want to see. And also, we'll enable the betting to to get going as well. So there you go. Place your bets and uh, let me know what map you want to see. What map you want to play on. Or what map you want to watch people play on. Currently, eight votes for Island. Six votes for Prison. <laughs> Points down on Kappa Lisa. Good, good, good. 
Um, bet. I think BDE is gonna actually turn up in this one though. I got a, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. All right. So the results are still looking like uh, nine votes for the island, seven votes for the prison. Once again, guys, if you want to vote what map we're playing on, what map you want to see these players play on, uh, we currently have 10 votes for the island. So it's looking like this is going to be gone on the island. By the time the voting ends, I'll just choose whichever one's more popular. So. And we'll hit that start button. Once again, guys, the very quick rules. I won't be competing. I'm just going to be spectating. Um, no using gas grenades. They're pretty bugged right now. It's uh, it's highly unenjoyable to watch them and play against them. So, uh, No premeditated teaming or exploiting of any sort like that. If we do get two or more crashes at the start of the game, we will restart the lobby, but hopefully that isn't the case. And uh, with 20 seconds left on the clock, I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Looks like we're going to do Island being the more popular vote. All right, best of luck, guys. Potentially the last game. We'll have to see how long this one goes for. If it goes to standing room, then uh, that might be it. But uh, yeah, let's let's have a nice game. Oh my God, I'm naked! Don't look! Duh! <laughs> Don't look! Why am I naked? What the fuck? Okay. When did I become naked? All right, never mind. We'll gloss over that. BDE, uh, King of Slugs, Grub. Capalisa, Say My Name, MSK, Lifty, Kaklaus, Bobby, Chasey, Demise Fries, and Denze competing in this game. Um, so spawns are generally further away on the island, which means that there's a bit of a warm-up period at the start before people fight. Um, Capalisa on the edge of the map, Say My Name, and uh, the building that I forget the name of, making a bow, stocking up with arrows. Looks like, was that orange juice? I think MSK might have found himself some orange juice. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on MSK for that. Lifty with a Tanto knife in uh, what appears to be the bottom of the SATCOM. Kaklas on top of uh, the water treatment. Bobby has spotted him. Bobby, aka Oscar, I believe. Uh, let's make sure it's not Denze. Yeah, this is Oscar. Uh, Bobby 2009. <laughs> the meme that is Bobby. So, uh, Ice Axe versus Tanto knife here. Or is that a crafted knife? Uh, muscle man milk on Kaklas. Uh, no, just a crafted knife. So Oscar with the uh, the weapon advantage here. Uh, Kaklas just trying to maximize that bleed that he does have on Bobby. Uh, Oscar, sorry. Um, Oscar does have the crafted bow as well. So in the event that Kaklas runs away, does have the option. Does take the dig deep away with the bow. Uh, and yeah, the the bow proving its worth there. Uh, uh, good call from Oscar there to make a bow so early on. Does net him that self the kill onto uh, Kaklas there. So, all right. Well, any other fights currently going on? Yes, a fight between Chasey and King Slug. Sluggy with a Tanto knife. Uh, Chasey with his bare fist, by the looks of it. Uh, maybe brass knuckles actually. No, just just his bare fist. So, fortunate Chasey there. Um, still doing quite a lot of damage to Slug by the looks of it. But maybe Slug dropped down, broke his legs or something. Uh, but yeah, Sluggy now netting himself the first kill of the game, along with Asuka. Demise with the traps in the doorway. Uh, is all the way on the other side in the labs. Let's go uh, Denze in the uh, survival hut, I think it's called. Survival station, medical station, something like that. Uh, looting the building up for uh, for goodies. Needs that funk. However, it looks like it's already been emptied. BD in a fight with Kapalisa. Um, both players darting around the uh, the table in the center here. Kapalisa pops himself some... Whoa, what happened there? He popped explosive runs, but then it went away. That was uh, that was pretty bizarre. It looked like Kapalisa had explosive runs there for a second, but then it disappeared. Um, as a result, not being to run away, does take a pretty hefty backstab from uh, BDE. BDE finds himself orange juice in the fridge as well. That might be the second orange juice of the game. Um, MSK potentially with orange juice as well. It might have been a medkit that we saw, but... What happened there, Procrastinate? Did your... Uh... Did you, uh, like, explosive rinse pop and then disappear? Did, like... Oh, wait. Demise Free spots himself a grub. Maybe, uh, BDE's running some sort of perk that eats, uh, stems. <laughs> That'd be pretty nasty. Yeah, we saw the explosive rinse on the screen. Then it, uh, very quickly went away. 
meaning that you weren't able to escape BDE and took a few hefty backstabs and went down, so... Pretty, uh, pretty nasty bug there by the looks of it. Did he use a gas grenade? No, there was no gas grenades used. Just, uh, just seems like an unfortunate glitch in the game. I don't think BDE intentionally did anything there, just, uh... I don't know, the stim... Either it popped or it didn't pop. It didn't appear to drop off of Procrastinate, but it seemed to only go on to him for about two seconds and then disappeared. Just, uh... It's one of the unfortunate bugs of the game. Demise Freeze finds himself a slug. Uh, Denze also nearby as well. Denze just, uh... Just creeping. Um, looking like he's gonna avoid going for slug and uh, take his chances with Demise Freeze instead. I don't think that's teaming there. That's just the option that Dem the Denze is going for there. There's also another player in here as well. How many players are in here? Grub is also in here as well. So four players in the labs right now. Uh, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Let's see how this one ends out. Uh, Denze going for a backstab onto Slug. Uh, Slug just running away. They're building pretty infested with traps from Demise Freeze. Uh, Denze spots himself a Grub on the outskirts of the map. Grub with the brass knuckles. Uh, getting stabbed up from Denze's Tanto knife. Grub without body armor, so uh, Denze with the health advantage and the armor advantage here. Only needs one more swing, and uh, yeah, the, the throw to the back doesn't have himself the kill onto Grub there. Uh, meanwhile, Slug and uh, Demise Freeze here on the outskirts of the map. Uh, on the outskirts of the labs, making body armor. Uh, Shake and Bake's gonna force all these players back into the labs again though, so... Looks like whether these players want to fight or not, they're gonna end up in a fight. Oh no, Slug's gonna try and make a run to the uh, survival hut. Uh, oh, MSK going down by uh, Oscar. Let's see how close that fight was. Sorry, we need to be tabbing through more. Yeah, MSK uh, going down to Bobby there. I was so convinced the fight was about to break out between uh, Dende, Demise, and Slug that we missed out uh, on the fight between Oscar and MSK. Oscar looking like he won on about 50 HP. No, maybe 20 HP, so looking like a pretty close fight. Uh, it does have quite a lot of uh, stims on him. So Demise Freeze finds himself back in the labs in, uh, in the toilet block. Uh, meanwhile, Denze opting to pop the explosive friends knows Demise is in there. Gonna go in there. Uh, does take about 20 damage from the Shaken and Bake, but uh, willing to to go into this fight with that health disadvantage. Demise obviously not aware that uh, Denze does have the explosive friends. Just trying to run away from him. Oh, gets him in the traps. Okay, I see what he was going for there now. Um, getting Denze pretty low as well from the Shaken and Bake damage plus the uh, snare damage and the swing from uh, Demise there. Um, however, Demise on uh, about 5 HP here. Will die to any damage from Denze, but can Denze spot where Demise is? Thinks he ran in this direction. Uh, gonna have to use his uh, his Polish ears here to see if he can detect Demise. And yeah, Demise with that Silent but Deadly actually coming in valuable there. And meaning Denze won't be able to hear the player, so gonna escape. BDE now with uh, Caltrops on the ground. Uh, still has that orange juice. Um, MSK, can you confirm if he got orange juice earlier on? From uh, from that first building, or was it just a med kit? Because it looked like you saw you found some orange juice, but first I use explosive runs followed rapidly by a lung butter. If you use lung butter after popping explosive runs, the effect from explosive runs goes off. Wow, I did not know that. Oh, you got iron foskin. Okay, it looked like um. Oh, slug spots a Denze on uh, about half HP there, but gonna run the other opposite direction. Uh, not fancying his odds against that, I guess. Uh, maybe because he doesn't have a bow, doesn't want to take on Denze. Either way, disengage going on there. Say My Name finds himself a Claymore. Uh, Slug now running towards the direction of Say My Name. Will he spot him, though? No, Slug just uh, running running off into the distance. No, turns around now. Maybe he's going to spot Say My Name. Say My Name putting the Claymore behind the tree. Uh, Slug does hear that distinctive click from the Claymore, so knows it's behind the tree. Probably. We're going to assume he had the click. Back and you actually expect me to get lucky? Uh, I thought it might have been... Um, BDE has found himself some uh, orange juice. I thought you did as well. It looked like it. It looked like it was glowing orange, but... Maybe we only saw it for like a couple frames, so... Uh, King of Slugs now in a... In a fight with... Same my name. Same my name with explosive runs. A lot of explosive runs in the game. Uh, yeah, as, as we uh, get confirmation from the chat. Apparently if you pop a lung butter after you pop explosive runs, it will take away the explosive runs effect, which is a pretty nasty bug. I didn't know about that one, but we know for the future now. Lung butter, turns out it is the worst thing in the game now. Uh, Demise Freeze, meanwhile, going down to Denze uh, while this fight rages on. 
And, well, the beast's looking like he did quite a bit of damage to Denzi, though. Denzi healing up from about 20 HP there. And meanwhile, the fight rages on between Sam and Slugs. Uh, Slug without a bow, finding himself in a bit of a hard spot against Sam and here. However, Sam and M's explosive rinse has finally worn off, so Slug can keep up with him now. Um, gonna be pretty happy to let that bleed tick down, doing one damage a pe one damage a second to say my name, so 10 damage over the space of the full bleed. Um, not quite equaling the, the damage that uh, say my name is putting out from the bow, but uh, say my name with a pretty good shove there. Nice block from Slug though, we'll uh, trade and uh, put another bleed onto say my name here, trying to get that uh, stun gun to go off. However, Vulture coming in from Denze here, Denze gonna try and net the kill onto say my name. Uh, yeah, and does get the kill. So, Slug without the heal. Denze coming in with the ultimate vulture. Just taking down both uh, Say My Name and Sluggy with the bow. Making pretty light work of that one. Not really anything either of those players could do about that one. Unless they both decided to uh, team at that point and take down Denze. But even then, it's debatable whether they could actually do that. So, uh, Denze nets himself two kills. Leaving just Denze, Oscar, BD, and Lifty left in this game. Uh, BD just pondering the lead bot right now. Trying to decide what he thinks about this. How long are you streaming for? This is probably the uh, last game, I'm afraid Alfie was. Was this the last custom? Yeah. Uh, looking at the time, it's looking like it is, guys, I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't back. What did I miss? So much. All right, Lifty now in a fight with BDE, waiting for the airdrop to come down. Uh, going off BDE's past airdrop uses, just as most likely a katana. Um, both players with, oh no, uh, Lifty with a Tanto knife, BD still with his crafted knife, however, both players with, uh, no, BD, I stand corrected, BD without muscle man milk, I thought both players had muscle man milk here, so Lifty with the uh, weapon, or the gear advantage here, onto BDE, but uh, BDE, a very seasoned player, so, uh, don't count them out just yet, the uh, Caltrops on the ground looking like they are BDEs, so, does have that advantage for him as well, uh, gonna try and get his katana now. Lifty deciding that he doesn't want to take that fight. Gonna pop the med kit and then perhaps re-engage. But now BD with a significant gear advantage, but a significant health disadvantage. So gonna just try and run from this one and heal up on the medical station at Culpepper Outfitters. Uh, meanwhile, Oscar in the middle with a man tracker for some reason. And what a terrible piece of gear that is. Denze finds himself a well, doesn't find himself. Probably knows. Actually, no. Uh, I'm gonna guess that was big game that he called in, and he found the sledgehammer from a late game holo spawner. So Denze pretty geared up now. Uh, Lifty still trying to engage onto BDE. BDE put punji sticks down by the medical station. Gonna try and take control of that to keep healing up. So uh, BDE with a bit of a health disadvantage. However, does get that crucial bleed onto Lifty. Gonna be doing 1.4 damage every second, so 14 damage over the duration of the bleed, which is a nice, uh, nice chunk of damage there. Um, so BDE just uh, backing up from the health station. Gonna go to the next health station now. Uh, does like ends up on about the same health total as when he left it, but does have Lifty down to half now. So the fight kind of going in BDE's favor. Just gonna try and run to the next medical station now. Uh, looks like he might be out of all stuff now though, so. Gonna have to really uh, turn the tables in this next fight. Oscar looking like he's just setting up traps to the middle. Uh, crafting cow traps there. Denze making his way towards the culmination as well. Next fight after these two. Looking like he's gonna be between, between uh, Denze and Oscar. Alright, nice swing from BDE there. Putting Lifty down to uh, the same health total now. Actually below BDE, so BDE showing why he's... Uh, why he's a, a contender not to be messed with here. Um, despite the serious health disadvantage, does manage to get himself the uh, katana from the airdrop there. And then turn and fight back Lifty. Perhaps a misplay from Lifty there, it's hard to say. Uh, I think in my situation, I probably would have backed off and gone for a medkit as well. However, if I knew Kava um, sorry, BDE was going to get the katana, maybe I would have just disengaged fully after that point and tried to gear up as well. Because Tanto Knife versus Katana is a pretty rough fight. He could have opted to uh, keep going ham onto BDE there, not allowing him to get his uh, katana. And maybe that would have been a respectable decision, but I think backing off and going for the medkit was a good choice as well. However, maybe he should have continued to run after that. Alright. Stalemate breaking out between Oscar and Denze here. Uh, Oscar doing the better trades here, just hiding behind the... Uh, <laughs> the pylons to, uh, or the scaffolding, whatever you want to call this, to not get hit by uh, Denze's compound bow. 
Denze going to bandage up the damage that he took. All right, Asuka deciding that he's going to go for the engage here. Uh, Bowie knife versus Sledgehammer, so... Sledgehammer, very powerful weapon, but very slow, so easy to predict. Oh, if Asuka's going to disengage to range, then I'm sure Denze's happy about that one, having the better ranged weapon. Trades go back and forth again. Denze with the uh, lower health total, that bleed from the Bowie knife will be doing damage over time. Whereas the, uh, the Sledgehammer is very much an all-in weapon. Uh, but yeah, definitely going all-in on Asuka there. Uh, Disarm comes out, but... Not enough, and yeah, Denze taking himself another kill onto Oscar there, so... BDE versus Denze here. Denze's gonna have to heal up pretty fast if uh, he wants to fight against BDE. Uh, Katana versus Sledgehammer. Katana probably favored, however, Denze does have that compound bow. Um, prioritizing getting his health total up first, but I imagine the next thing he's gonna do is make arrows. Let's see if he can fill up his bow in time for BDE to arrive, though. BDE gonna go for the crowbar. That seems like an odd decision to go for right now. Um, I guess he doesn't know where Denze is, so... But of all of the things to prioritize, I would not be getting a crowbar at this point in the game. Uh, does find the spoils of Oscar. Is he gonna pick up the bow? No, BDE hates bows that much that he's not gonna use the bow. So, uh... I'm gonna have to try and, uh, use his melee skill to, uh, keep Denze in, in the melee range here. All right, popping the orange juice. Oh yeah, we've got BD has this orange juice plus the katana. Denze is in for a rough one here. Gonna have to play this pretty well to not die. Uh, orange juice, tactical body armor, and the katana. BD incredibly geared for this fight now. Denze is gonna have to pull out some pretty good stuff to uh, not go down to BD here. Uh, getting chunked pretty hard from that sledgehammer though. That cripple will mean that the uh, explosive runs won't do anything. Nice jumping bandage, but not enough. Uh, the compound bow now. Uh, the volley landing onto BD, putting him about an equal health total to Denze. Nice block. Denze putting BDE down. Uh, still with the dig deep. The iron skin means he won't be taking too much damage, however. Oh my god, BDE is playing this so fucking... Oh no, he's gonna die! Oh, he was so well geared, but the disengage... I don't know about the jumping bandage, man. He should have just kept going ham. The cripple wouldn't have lasted that long. Oh, Denze with his third win. There we go. That was that. It, was, it looked like BD was in a good position to take that then, but the uh, the disengage there. I think, though, if BD won that one, he would have had three kills versus Denze with four plus 200, so 600. Yeah, I think Denze would have won regardless. Hmm. Polsky takes it again. <laughs> All right, guys. Well... Those were some pretty exciting games. It was, uh, it was pretty fun to watch. Denze definitely turning up uh, pretty ham in those games, although Sluggy's game was uh, certainly a spectacle as well. Imagine Denze and Slug teaming, they're going to be unstoppable. Yeah, you guys, why are you guys not trying to push for the top 10 on the co op? <laughs> All right. So uh, I think that's going to conclude it for today, guys. Let me go ahead and enable the winner of that one in terms of points, that is. So if you bet on Denze, congratulations once again. 42% of the vote on Denze, so the uh, the prize pool is going to be a bit split up between uh, all you guys, but it was 4,400 beginners in the prize pool there, so being split between whoever bet on Denze there. Congratulations, guys. Um... And yeah, as I say, it's going to be a short stream today, <laughs> short stream today, guys. There's a team mode in this game, apparently, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. I know it's only been a couple hours, but uh, I do have some plans for this evening. I might, maybe, maybe be back later on in the evening. Uh, we won't be doing custom games, so I'll just be memeing around if we're doing that. Maybe we can do some custom games tomorrow as a way to, uh, you know, uh, make up for just a short stream tonight. Uh, we will do a longer stream tomorrow. Gonna probably start around 5 p.m. Uh, GMT. That's like 6 p.m. for East the East Coast, and maybe uh, what's that like 12 for America? Like if you're on the East Coast. So yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be back tomorrow, guys. 2,000 point raffle. I'll just do a series of smaller raffles because uh, I gotta do work if if I want to change it to uh, 2,000. <laughs> bye Baggins, thanks for the five dollars. Yeah, I'll make sure you guys get paid out um, by tonight I don't know if I'll have time for it just now. I'll maybe I can actually I think I probably can I'll uh, I'll get you guys paid if if you've changed your payment methods sluggy or Denze, let me know Otherwise, I'm just gonna pay how I've been doing it in the past um, 
Later, man. Shout me out. I was the second highest streamer. Uh, shout out to Crazed Gamer. All right. If any of you guys are going to stream any of my subs, let me know in the Discord, and I'll throw the host onto you guys. Uh, but, yeah, thank you for taking part. Thank you for viewing. Um, it's been a pretty good one, guys. And I'll uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.